どうも、じゃあ市川です。今日はですね、元メタエンジニアのジェフェリーさんに来ていただいて、えー、いろいろ聞いていこうということで、よろしくお願いいたします。よろしくお願いします。あ、uh, nice to meet you, ジェフェリー。Yeah. yeah, nice to meet everyone. I'm, I'm really looking forward to talking with you. Yeah, same over here. And also today, I think we're gonna pretty much talk in both Japanese and English? Yeah, yes, yes,、okay. yes. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. So, the first topic is, I asked ex meta engineer how to get hired. You were our engineer at Meta, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, I worked、mm. at Meta, and yeah, it was a great time. So, if you're wondering pretty much how to get hired, I、yes. mean, that's a topic big on it of itself. So, do you want me to, to answer that like vaguely or do you want to go like over the hiring process? So, I start by your background. Could you give us a brief overview of professional background? Okay, then. So, yeah, my career history I did, I worked at a Meta before, but before that, I worked in different jobs. So, I did a, a, my degree in computer science. I did it in a University of California, a state school over here.、Uh, and on top of that, I actually took、uh, six years. So, while typically it will take you four years to graduate, and the reason why is because I was working as a software engineer while、okay. going to university. So, at the beginning,、um, it was typical junior、uh, development jobs. And then I was working there for about four years before I graduated.、Okay. So, after I graduated, Um, I had a full time job lined up. So、mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of test myself and see, okay, then how can I apply this knowledge or this work like at a huge company, s right? So that's when I decided to start applying to some、uh, big companies. And yeah, I applied to Amazon and Facebook. And then I believe also to Apple. And then from there, went on interviews, four set of interviews, hour long interviews. <laughs> and then I went and worked at Meta. And then from there, yeah, I, I worked、uh, some years at Meta. And then afterward, you know, different things came, came about. And I decided to refocus myself on recursion. And here we are. I want to ask about a lot of questions.、Um, when did you start、uh, study programming? Yeah, so I started when I was. Pretty young, actually. I would say maybe, maybe probably like around、uh, 12. Well, yeah, 12, but this is like basic、uh, computers were starting, like your typical desktop computers were, you know,、yeah. hitting everybody's houses and whatnot. So that's when I got into, you know, computers, trying to like mess around with them, building them. So all this interest into computers and software really did begin when I was like a teenager. And then from there,、uh, I tried creating some really simple、uh, programs,、mm -hmm. but it didn't really hit probably until I was like in starting my first year of university. That's when I really decided to go, you know, really deep. Into you know, software engineering. So, you majored、uh, computer science. When did you get a、uh, first time job as a software engineer? Yeah, so、uh, my first time was, I think, after my first year of university. This is kind of like a side note, but by the time I entered university, I was already somewhat affluent in Japanese.、Um, and because of that, I was also able to kind of get myself in the door with、uh, software companies that have relationships with Japanese companies or、okay. just Japanese branches. In In Los Angeles or in California in general. So, because of that, I was able to somewhat easily land, land a software engineer s because I was able to kind of communicate in Japanese. And on top of that, I was doing my computer science degree. So, that's how it, I started. And I did、uh, several different ones. Like, we're talking about like in battery companies, different、uh, logistics companies. So, I worked、uh, on these companies、um, for about a, a year、uh, through five different ones. What did you work on at Meta? Yeah. So, that's That's、uh, at Meta. I worked on the infrastructure side of things. So, Meta is a huge company, it serves billions. And billions of people, you could say potentially even half of the world. <laughs> so, with that, you need a very, very strong system. You need a strong backend, you need multiple data centers, you need like a huge infrastructure. And within that infrastructure, you have a lot of services and you have a lot of、uh, systems that always need to be. You know, up and running. So that was、uh, my job in particular was working in the infrastructure side where we handle the building. And again, Meta has so many applications and the code base, as I mentioned earlier, like it's huge. So imagine you have this whole huge code base trying to build, you know, multiple applications out of this. It's really, really hard. And it, <laughs> what makes it really hard is when you have millions of lines of codes and you have thousands of engineers constantly pushing up code. How do we, you know, make sure? All the applications that we built correctly sync and deploy, you know, 
to app stores correctly, right? And you they need to be efficient and it's it's a lot of work that goes into that. So that was uh, my focus uh, going there. And the teams around me were all, you know, focused on that infrastructure. Yeah. So at the beginning, uh, all engineers, this this is common in many major companies, but you get like a time to onboard to mm. the code base. So you get about potentially a month, two months, some companies is three months, um, where you solely focus on onboarding to the new you know, to, to the code base and to the system, to the infrastructure, right? Mm. So within those three months, yeah, or two months, in my case, in this, in Meta's case, it's about a month that you get to, to onboard and then you move on to like uh, your team. Yeah, that's when you, you touch everything. You try to deploy like some little tiny stuffs. You you yeah, contact yeah. your your manager and then you say, hey, I want to try touching this. And am I able to, I want to tackle this task or I'm curious about this. And then you just you know, let it go. And in the case of Meta, it's actually really amazing. Meta gives um, their employees the freedom to choose what kind of department or team they kind of want to join or they're interested in mm -hmm. during this onboarding period. So it's mm -hmm. not like you're hired to create like VR and you stick to VR. Or you're hired to just do uh, infrastructure. Um, no, you come in. If you come in as a general engineer, you come in and then you look at the system, you look at the services that you have, and then you kind of get to choose a little bit what interests you so much. So to answer your question, that's and it, it is a huge, huge code base. However, uh, Meta's code base. So in a way, regardless of what team you go, if you're working like as a backend engineer, for example, you're gonna for the most part use the same technology and tools. Um so mm, yes and no, it depends. <laughs> yeah. Um well, first of all, when when you come to um Meta, they, they do like a box, you know, you have to pass like a lot of uh, interviews, you have to check hey, is this person history good? Are they able to, you know, are, are do they do they know their stuff? Right. So they trusted you once you come in that, you know, you're able to be able to onboard to their new systems. And the overall gist, the overall workflow of all the systems, yes, you're going to be able to, you know, get in there and, you know, code and deploy stuff within like a month. It's enough time to do that. However, for specific teams and specific uh, code bases, again, you have a large code bases and a lot of uh, services and systems within that huge that creates that huge system, right? You go on to work on with just one of those systems, right? Now getting there and actually diving deep into that individual code system, that's where you're gonna need more than time. So by that time, the first month is just to build up a foundation. And then afterwards you go in there to, you know, whatever team you choose to actually, you know, use that foundation to, you know, implement new features. And yeah, so that, that will take you a, a little bit more. Okay, thank you. The next question, could you share like a typical day in the life of software engineer at Meta? What time did you start work or uh, what time did you finish your work? Something yeah, like so first of all, this is Silicon Valley um, mm -hmm. and it is Meta and they do prioritize company culture and life balance quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So with that said, for example, there really isn't like a specific time you should be at work or mm -hmm. you want to be out you want to work like for example you can make that you can start working at 8 get to the company at 8 a.m you can get there at 9 a.m 11 a.m for the most part like it should be fine as long as you're able to work the same amount of hours so let's just say if you're working eight hours let's just say you start at 10 then mm -hmm. you're gonna uh, potentially leave at six mm -hmm. right six and then maybe seven so mm -hmm. it for the most part getting there it's free you you get to choose which is a really nice perk but at the same time you know you're still working just uh just as hard uh, as you typically are on my case um i try to stick to the nine to five uh kind of uh schedule mm -hmm. Uh, and with, with an hour break uh, in between. So typically I will get to work anywhere from 8.30 to maybe 10, um, 30. Uh, and then from there, I mean, the, these are the, the offices that are huge. They're modern. I would say they're almost like a mini, like a mini city in a way. Yeah. Right? So you go in there, um, you have uh, individualized desks. Um, on top of that, we, you do have your own computer, your own company computer. And that's where you have uh, your, you know, your, your, your code, your environment 
requirements. And then internally, you also have everything. Uh, you have a lot of perks within the company. Like you have, uh, there's breakfast, there's coffee, uh, a lunch. So you, they can just, if they're hungry, you just go eat and then you can just focus on, on the work. So from there on, you know, eat breakfast, get a coffee and then get to work, work for about four hours. And then afterwards, you know, go get a good lunch. It, it's really amazing because every time they, they have different, yeah, they have different things in the cafeteria. And then afterwards you go back to your test, maybe work another um, four hours. And then afterwards you can even have dinner or just go home. So for the most part, life balance is really good uh, at Meta as long as you're able to work when you're supposed to work. の人と喋った時にグーグルと比べた時にまあメタの方がハードやとハードワーカー多いみたいなこと言ってたんですけどここら辺はどうですか肌感覚としてグーグルとメタ比べた時にいわゆるワークライフバランスみたいなところうんえ
has like a skill set wise, just create more engineering works and have more responsibility on your hand. Like for example, a new system, a very important new system is gonna uh, appear and you want to lead that, design it and you know. Yeah. So if you want to get at that level, certain criteria need to be kind of like met, right? So in terms of that, Meta has, in has a lot of different ways to go about it and there's different ways to, to get there i'll just give you like a quick example um if you're kind of like a coding machine where you get to work and you just code code non-stop and for some reason you're just able to output so much code every single day if those people naturally they will go on to become e7 another uh, path could be that hey you're really good with uh, linux systems and servers like you're a complete specialist in that area like at the kernel level you've also did some deployments at the kernel level you contributed to linux and you just know it internally so you have very specialized specialties that can also get you there right and then another one is i said earlier where you're kind of like building your own company within a huge company is you create a product that product becomes really successful and you were the leader in that case that's a promotion as well but that one might require a little bit of uh not just luck but like business skills um it's like a little bit of everything so there's different ways to to get to those higher higher levels i understand okay thank you